Hey, drone enthusiasts, tech geeks, and military aviation fans. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the cutting-edge world of tech and defense. Today, we're talking about a beast in the skies that's got the whole world buzzing, China's Ju Tian UAV, aka the High Sky Drone. Buckle up, because this isn't just any drone, it's a literal mothership that's redefining what unmanned aerial vehicles can do. Let's break it down and see why the Ju Tian is making waves in drone technology. Hit that like button if you're pumped, and let's get started. First unveiled at the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show, the Ju Tian is China's answer to the future of aerial warfare. Built by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC, this high altitude, long endurance, hail, UAV is a fifth generation powerhouse designed to rival heavyweights like the US's RQ 4 Global Hawk and MQ 9 Reaper. First off, this thing is massive. With a maximum takeoff weight of 16 tons and a wingspan of 25 meters, it's one of the largest military drones out there. It can fly at 15,000 meters, that's 50,000 feet, way above most medium range air defense systems, giving it a strategic edge in contested airspace. Plus, it's got a jaw-dropping range of 7,000 kilometers, or about 4,350 miles, and can stay airborne for up to 36 hours. That means it can cover vast distances, from the Taiwan Strait to the South China Sea, without breaking a sweat. Now, here's the real game-changer. The Ju Tian isn't just a drone, it's a drone mothership. It's got this insane feature called the Isomerism Hive Module a modular payload bay that can unleash up to 100 smaller drones mid-flight. We're talking kamikaze UAVs, loitering munitions, or recon drones that can swarm together to overwhelm enemy defenses, conduct surveillance, or even jam radar systems. This swarm capability is next level, making it a force multiplier for the PLA. Imagine a single Ju Tian coordinating a cloud of drones to dominate the battlefield. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie. So, how does it stack up against the competition? The US's RQ-4 Global Hawk is a surveillance king, flying higher at 18,000 meters but lacking strike power. The MQ-9 Reaper is a strike and recon champ but has a lower altitude and payload capacity at just under 6 tons. The Ju Tian? It combines the best of both worlds, high altitude endurance, a 6-ton payload, and the ability to launch swarms. Plus, it's got eight underwing pylons for missiles, bombs, or sensors, and a modular design that can swap payloads in under two hours for missions like electronic warfare, border patrol, or even disaster relief. Talk about versatility. The Ju Tian's debut has everyone talking. Chinese state media, like CCTV, calls it a groundbreaking leap for unmanned combat, and they're not wrong. Developed in just 18 months with over 3 billion yuan invested, this drone shows China's all-in on AI-driven autonomy and swarm tech. Analysts say it's built for hot zones like the Taiwan Strait or South China Sea, where it could project power without risking pilots. But here's the kicker. While it flies high, advanced systems like THOD or Patriot Pac-3 can still reach it, so it's not invincible. Still, its ability to act as a command node for manned-unmanned teaming? That's a big deal. Design a mothership built for dominance. The Ju Tian's design is a masterclass in combining brute force with cutting edge tech. Here's what makes it tick. Aerodynamic structure. It sports a high main wing with minimal sweep and small winglets for fuel efficiency and stability, paired with an H-shaped tail for enhanced control at high altitudes. The tricycle landing gear supports operations from both paved and potentially unpaved airfields, a nod to survivability in contested zones. Jet propulsion. A single high-thrust turbofan engine sits atop the fuselage, balancing speed up to 700 km per hour, with long endurance. This jet power cuts transit times to mission areas compared to turboprop drones like the MQ-9 Reaper. Modular Payload Bay. The Isomerism Hive Module, likely a mistranslation of Beehive Mission Module, is the star of the show. This central bay can deploy up to 100 smaller drones, think kamikaze UAVs, recon drones, or electronic warfare units, mid-flight. The bay's modular design allows mission-specific swaps in under two hours. Sensor Suite. 
An undernose turret houses electro-optical and infrared cameras, plus radar provisions for all-weather targeting. Side-looking radar containers can be mounted on underwing pylons for 360-degree detection. Advanced Tech The JUTN integrates quantum-encrypted communications for secure, hack-resistant control, AI-driven swarm algorithms for autonomous operation, and radar cross-section RCS, reduction materials for partial stealth. Some sources mention hydrogen propulsion integration, hinting at eco-friendly tweaks for extended range. Capabilities A multi-role powerhouse The JUTN isn't just a big drone, it's a force multiplier with capabilities that push the boundaries of UAV tech. Here's what it brings to the table. 1. Swarm Deployment the Hive module can launch up to 100 micro drones for saturation attacks, reconnaissance, or electronic warfare. These swarms can overwhelm air defenses, jam radars, or scout multiple targets simultaneously, making the JUTN a command node for networked warfare. 2. Strike and ISR. With eight underwing pylons, it can carry precision guided munitions like KD 88 anti ship missiles, 200 km range or LYV-501 glide bombs, 130 km range when dropped from high altitude. Its sensor suite supports intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, in contested environments. 3. Manned-Unmanned Teaming MUMT. The JUTN acts as a flying command center, coordinating with manned aircraft or other drones. Its AI and quantum comms ensure it can operate autonomously even under electromagnetic interference. 4. Survivability. Its 15,000-meter ceiling keeps it above most medium-range defenses, though advanced systems like THOD, 150-km ceiling, or Patriot Pac-3, 36 km, can still engage it. RCS reduction and potential decoy drones from the swarm enhance its survivability. 5. Modular flexibility. The payload bay's quick-swap design supports missions from electronic warfare to cargo delivery with configurations for sensors, munitions, or air sampling systems. This adaptability makes it a multi-role platform. The scene. A historic day. It's a crisp morning at a secure PLA test facility, likely near Xi'an, home to the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, AVIC. The sun glints off the JUTN's sleek, 25-meter wingspan as it sits on the runway, its single turbofan engine humming softly. This isn't just any drone, it's a 16-ton behemoth with a 6-ton payload, designed to soar at 15,000 meters, 50,000 feet, and cover 7,000 kilometers, 4,350 miles. The crowd, a mix of PLA officials, AVIC engineers, Chinese state media like CCTV, and select international observers, is electric with anticipation. Drones overhead capture every angle, streaming to millions watching on Weibo and beyond. The first flight. A mothership takes off. At exactly 9 a.m., the JUTN's turbofan roars to life, drowning out the murmurs of the crowd. The drone accelerates down the runway, its tricycle landing gear smoothly lifting off as it climbs into the clear sky. The jet engine's whine echoes across the field as the UAV reaches 1,000 meters in seconds, a testament to its 700 km per hour speed. Onlookers gasp as the isomerism hive module, the modular bay that can deploy 100 smaller drones, remains closed for this test, but the promise of swarm warfare looms large. Chinese state media, led by CCTV, is live-streaming the event, with commentators hyping it up. The JUTN will lay the groundwork for extending unmanned aerial combat. The drone hits 5,000 meters, and the crowd erupts in cheers as it performs a smooth banking turn, showcasing its stability and AI-driven flight controls. Social media explodes. A Weibo post from a PLA-affiliated account reads, China's high sky source. A new era for the PLA. While X posts buzz with excitement, the Jushan Sulfur Monosulfide UAV, debuting in June 2025, can deploy over 100 small drones, signaling a significant shift in aerial warfare. Audience reactions. Awe, hype, and skepticism. The crowd's reactions are a mix of pride, wonder, and cautious analysis. 
Chinese officials and engineers, PLA brass and AVIC engineers are visibly thrilled. One AVIC representative tells CCTV, this is a triumph of our domestic supply chain and AI innovation 3 billion yuan in 18 months from concept to flight. Posts on X echo the sentiment, China's first aerial mothership, Jushan Sulfur Monosulfide UAV, scheduled for its maiden flight in June, a high-altitude beast. Engineers high-five as the drone's quantum-encrypted comms and modular design are praised for enabling rapid mission swaps. State Media CCTV's coverage is jubilant, with a commentator proclaiming, the Ju Tn is a flagship for China's low-altitude economy, from warfare to disaster relief. Clips of the flight go viral, with CGI visuals of the Hive module launching mini-drones racking up millions of views. A Weibo user posts, this is our answer to the global hawk, and it's better. International observers. Western analysts, invited under strict oversight, are more measured. A U.S. defense expert whispers to a colleague, impressive, but Thod and Patriot Pack 3 can still reach 15,000 meters. It's not untouchable, an ex-post from a military analyst notes, Jushin Swarm Tech is a game-changer, but coordinating 100 drones at 50,000 feet? That's a comms nightmare, some express awe at the 36-hour endurance and 6-ton payload, while others question its survivability against advanced air defenses. Global Drone Community Drone enthusiasts on X are hyped but skeptical. One user posts, Jushin Sulfur Monosulfide UAV can carry 100 plus drones or 1000 kg missiles, but can it outfly Aegis BMD or Taiwan's Skybo 3? Another writes, China's pushing swarm tech hard, but let's see real world performance. The speed of development, four prototypes by April 2025 earns respect, but questions linger about AI reliability and swarm coordination. Cut to a montage of the crowd cheering, media filming, and ex post scrolling. From Beijing to the global stage, the Ju Tn's first flight is sparking every reaction from China's unstoppable. To let's see it in combat. The significance. A new era for drone warfare. This first flight isn't just a test, it's a statement. The Ju Tn's ability to carry six tons, including KD-88 anti-ship missiles, 200 km range, and LYV-501 glide bombs, 130 km from high altitude, plus its swarm launching hive module, positions it as a force multiplier. Its 7,000 km range and 36-hour endurance make it a strategic asset for the PLA, especially in flashpoints like the Taiwan Strait or South China Sea. The crowd knows this could redefine aerial combat, with swarms overwhelming defenses or acting as decoys while the mothership relays data via quantum comms. Civilian applications also spark excitement. The modular bay could deliver aid, monitor borders, or support search and rescue, aligning with China's low-altitude economy push. A Chinese engineer tells reporters, this isn't just for war, it's for saving lives in disasters. The crowd buzzes as the Ju Tn lands flawlessly after a 30-minute test, proving its stability and control. The Ju Tn's first flight in May 2025 wasn't just a takeoff, it was a launchpad for China's drone ambitions. From swarms to strikes, this mothership has the world watching. What do you think? Is this the future of warfare, or is it too early to call? Drop your reactions in the comments. If you loved this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tech deep dives. Check out our Ju Tn specs video right here for the full scoop. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.